On-the-scene coverage of ACC14 is supported by Janssen Pharmaceuticals, Incorporated. I'm Peter Block for On the Scene here in Washington, D.C. at the ACC annual meeting. The late-breaking clinical trials go on, and we've had two trials which studied anti-PCSK9. This second trial uh, was done by Derek Rawl from South Africa. Derek, tell me about this study. It's different than the low-risk patient trial. Is this the study, the Radvid 2 studies, in with patients with familial hypercholesterolemia, which are probably the highest risk patients. So they've got inherited cholesterol. We estimate it's probably the commonest condition, inherited condition in the world. It affects about one in every 200 to one in every 500 people. So there's about 18 to 40 million people with inherited cholesterol around the world. Now the statins are remarkable drugs, uh, but in this patient group, despite high-dose intense statin therapy, which can lower cholesterol by 50 to 60 percent, many patients with inherited cholesterol don't get to the LDL targets we'd like to get them. They don't get to 100 milligram percent, and they definitely don't get to 70 milligram percent. So this study, the Rutherford 2 study, we enrolled uh, about 330 patients with familial hypercholesterolemia, and we randomized them either to placebo or to, to uh, either two weekly dosing or monthly dosing of a drug called evolocumab, which is a PCSK9 inhibitor. Uh, and the bottom line of the study is evolocumab given either every two weeks or once a month reduced LDL cholesterol by another 60%. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Given, that means intramuscular injection, sub-Q? A uh, small sub-Q injection. So unlike a diabetic who has to inject daily, this is a tiny uh, sub-Q injection given either once every two weeks or once a month. So yeah. tell me what you found, how much reduction? So the reduction in LDL was a very impressive 60%. There wasn't really a difference between a smaller dose administered every two weeks or a bigger dose, 420 milligrams, uh, administered uh, every month. So in terms of goal at, uh, achievement, because of the 60% reduction in LDL, uh, virtually about 65, two-thirds of the patients achieved an LDL cholesterol of less than 70 milligram percent, which is really unheard of in the management of patients with familial hypercholesterolemia. So two quick questions to finish up. Number one, it's a monoclonal antibody. Any problems with that? And number two, most important, Give me a take-home message here for the docs out there. Yeah, well, first of all, it is a monoclonal, but it's a fully human monoclonal antibody, so we have saw very few side effects. In very, uh, there weren't any local uh, drug reactions. No one developed antibodies to this monoclonal. The take-home message, I think, that this, these are going to be the new statins of this century. The combination of a statin together with uh, a monoclonal antibody against PCSK9 is it going to allow us to get the vast majority of patients with familial hypercholesterolemia to LDL targets. Sounds like an exciting drug, and for the statin-resistant or statin-intolerable patients, even better. Correct. Thank you very much, Derek. Thank you.